guys so in this video I just thought it would be kind of fun to show you how I um, do my nail stamping um, I thought to it's actually very relaxing to watch I love watching little mini nail stamping videos on Instagram so it's just very satisfying and fun to watch and I thought it would be kind of fun to show you so um, as you can see here I have my little makeshift um, nail holder thing I'm using a fake nail for this because I just kind of wanted to show you just a simple little like technique simple little you know just one nail um, so I have it glued on here <laughs> I was trying to find something, but I thought this might be the best that I could uh, go for. Oh, there we go. I think that's better. I'm trying to figure out the lighting. But anyway, um, let's see how easy I can do this too, because I have my camera right here in front of me. So first, I just kind of want to, since I got my thumbprint all over it, or my fingerprint all over it, I'm going to use just a little bit of um, rub rubbing alcohol that I have in this little spray bottle here. I use this for whenever I'm doing somebody else's nails or my own, you know, just to kind of clean it up before a manicure. Um, it's usually, I do it before a gel manicure. Um, but, yeah. So, cause my manicures usually, they don't last this, they, these have been on for about a week. They don't last too long because I'm always taking them off to do another nail set. And by the way, um, if you want to check out all my, um, nail art slash nail stamping um you can go check me out on instagram at sasha b's nails so anyway i'm just gonna squirt a little bit of this on here actually let's see there this might be better there we go let me just spray a little bit of that i'm gonna take this q-tip go around clean up the sides too yeah um one of these days too I'll do uh, an actual video on how I do my like my actual nails like how I take care of them how I prep them for a manicure and how I uh, paint them and everything but with this it's just gonna be a bit different I won't be needing like everything like such as like a base coat and nail care and things like that because it's just a fake nail so um I guess we can just like jump right in and get started I have my little trash can over here Let me throw this away okay um maybe one of these days too I can do a little like nail polish collection tour and my nail desk tour <sighs> okay so let's see here one sec all right So I'm going to just start by painting it the color that I want to use. I'm going to be using Essie Lolong. And usually, <laughs> this is my go-to nail polish. So, And I've been collecting these for about a year now. So I used to think they were too expensive for my taste, but I realized how good the formula is, how many cute colors they have. My skin is looking so dead right now. But anyway, so let me just kind of roll this in my hands real quick. I guess I can zoom out for this. Oops. Because you don't really want to shake your nail polish, polish bubbles because uh, bottles because then you will end up with bubbles. So I kind of just like to roll it in my hand. Okay. And now let's just get started with the painting. I'm going to zoom up a bit so you can see better. Open this up, and I want to get this in the right position so that I can paint it well. Okay. Can you guys see? This is a little tricky. Oops. Because I kind of want to avoid getting the sides here at like the tip. What I feel like I should have done is had this part going up a little bit instead of this part being 
or I mean this part going up a little bit instead of this part so that I'm actually like painting upwards so I mean I guess we could always switch it around and do it the other way but it would look a little funny so we'll get the tip here making it look a bit nicer so I think we did good with the white. We don't need another layer for that. It's pretty opaque on its own. I remember when I was, I was younger, because I've been doing my nails since like, wow, since I was way young. And then when I, when I was around like 15, 16 is when I really started getting into them. I used to struggle so much with white colors because, oh, if you don't apply them right, they can end up really streaky. Also, you want to get the nail plush with some good formula. So it doesn't mean it has to be super expensive. Just good formula. Okay, so while that's there um, and drying, I'm going to actually, you know what? I forgot to add something. I like to add the spe speed setter so that the polish dries a little bit more before we do the stamping. So that it doesn't mush when I press down. Let's get a bit more on there. Maybe I should have waited just a couple more minutes before because I had I got white on there. I think I did it a bit too quickly. I'm used to painting all ten of my nails and then having them having them have enough time to dry and then going over it with the top coat. So I need to be a bit more patient with this, but that's okay. It'll give it a cool little marbly look. And I'm sorry about the shadow there. I'm wondering if I could like. Just have this. Uh, oh, nope. Maybe let's just keep it how it was. Okay. Dropped in my trash can. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing many cuts in this video, but I definitely don't want to make it too, too long. Um, Alright, so while that's off to the side and drying. I'm going to show you which stamping design I'm going to use. Look how pretty. Look at that. One of these days too I need to do a video of my stamping plate collection. Hello. Anyway, so I was thinking of doing, I don't want to use my fingers. so. I was thinking of using this and doing some cute, this one's my all time favorite when it comes to doing like succulent images and things. So I'm going to use this color for the cup. I'm going to use black for the center heart and then for up here, oops, right there. I'm just going to use, I think I'm going to use this green, yeah, for the leaves. Okay. All right. And then I can also, like adding to the snail, I can show you how to take an image from an image. So like, say you just wanted the heart and not the whole cup, the whole thing. I have a trick on what you can do for that. So. Um, I've got this to hold all my colors that I'll be painting with. I make sure to have these three tools out because these are the three ones that I normally use. We have a little paper towel here off to the side. Let me, uh, wait, let me zoom back out. There we go. That's much better. So there we have that. And then I usually... I usually pour a little bit of um, nail polish remover into the lid so that as I'm working with the colors, I can clean off my brushes so that I don't have to, so I don't let the color smudge. Yeah, you're probably getting like an armpit shot there. Okay, 
So here we have these. You're also going to want your scraper. That's my favorite, all time favorite scraper. So, here we go. Let's get started. I also use a separate black for the actual image part. You also want tape too, so you're able to um, clean up the stamper. So, this is the stamper that I use. My hands are so dry. I've been washing my hands like crazy lately. Here's my stamper. It's a little bit um used. It's okay, that's what they're for, right? And then I just kind of, if there's any leftover smudges. All right. So let's get started on the um, picking up the image. So it's going to be a bit tricky just because <laughs> I have everything positioned. I'm definitely not used to filming like this. Okay. So let me open this. You know what? Maybe I'll have to use. Yeah, that's not going to want to open, and I don't want to take forever doing that, so I'm just going to use this mini one here. Oh, and if this wants to open. Oh, there we go. Yay! Okay, so you want to work quickly. <laughs> you want to have everything nearby so you're ready. Okay. So I'm going to kind of put this to the side a little bit but here I usually I usually cover the whole image just because I feel like it's not enough if I don't scrape that and then to pick up your image there you are there she is so cute and then um if you pick up something else while you're at it like at the image next door you could just get that off with the tape. So now that we have that off to the side, let's fill it in. What do you say? So I think for this, since the image is so small, I'm going to use my smaller brush instead of the longer one. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, you can see that better, right? If I put it there. You know what? That glare, though, is like, I don't know about that glare. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we can work with that. Because I don't want there to be a glare and you can't see it. So it's just going to be a little dark for now. Um, so let's begin. I like to do the outside part first since I'm using regular nail polish for it so it won't dry nearly as fast as the stamping polishes do so I definitely don't want it to smush when I put it on the nail because I haven't waited long enough for it to dry so let's just put this here you don't need like a ton but So I'm just going to use this, I'm going to have this ready to dip if I need to. Alright, let's get to filling it in. My hands, guys, are very shaky. I never understand why they're so shaky. Oops. Because, I don't know, they're just always shaky. And it kind of runs in the family because my mom has it too. One of my sisters does. Where we're, our hands just shake. We do not have steady hands. Okay. So I filled in the cup.
Now it's time for the heart. Now, as you can see, I kind of spilled over into the heart. So when I'm done stamping the image on, I'll show you a trick on how you can kind of fix that a little. Just a little bit here. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, I guess I don't need that much. Okay. So let's fill in the heart here. Can you guys see? There. Yeah. Then again, maybe the black is dark enough that it'll just fill in the color. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that up a teensy bit, but that's okay. Let me try to go in again with the black and kind of fill it. Okay. So... You know what, maybe... There. Okay. There, so we've got that. And then, let me just make sure all the black is off of this. Because the black is definitely the darkest color I'm using for this, and you don't want it to smudge into your other colors. <sighs> Got a green off to the side. You know what, I kind of want to make it layered. So I'm going to use two greens. Darker and a light, but for now let's just go in with this one. So I want to kind of layer it a bit. Can you guys see? Okay. Alright, so we've got that, that green. Now we're going to go in with this green that's a bit darker. And I always, always think that I need more than I actually need. And I end up with so much extra and I feel like, ah, oh, it's such a waste. That's okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I definitely need to work on my filming skills. Especially when it comes to filming like this. I used to make nail videos all of the time. But. Stopped. And now I have a tripod. So I'm trying to figure out how to use that. So anyway. Hold on. I just need a little bit of water. Okay. So now. As you can see, here is your little cup. It's so cute, and I'm a little disappointed in the heart. I feel like I messed it up a little bit, but that's okay because once I stamp it, I usually go back in and kind of like clean up the edges with um, like whatever, whichever color it may be that I used. So yeah, um, let me, I think it is dry enough to apply. So let's get to the stamping part part we've all been waiting for. Let me fix this lighting here. Yeah, 
it. It's gotten dark, so you know what I think might help? Does that look better? Yeah. Okay. There's not quite as much of a shadow. Okay. So you do want to let it dry a little bit, but you don't want it to dry too much because then it doesn't end up sticking down and you have to push a lot harder. So, where do I want it exactly? I'm going to make sure you guys can see. And there we are. Cute. All nice and stamped down. Let me see if I can fix up the heart a little bit. Then I have a cool trick that I learned on to make sure your image doesn't smear when you top coat it. So, okay, just a little bit of black here. Don't need a ton, but enough. There we go. That heart looks much better. At least I think. <laughs> okay. So, I noticed here too, there was a bit of a smudge I didn't like. So I'm gonna fill this in. There we are. So there you have your cute little succulent in a cup. Um, you know what else? I feel like this part here is a little bit thin. I don't know, should I go in and fix that or should I kind of leave that? I can't decide. I think I wanna fix it a little bit. Oh, please do not mess this up. <laughs> Just watch it. Everyone in the, um, watching the video is probably like, it looks good, don't. Don't touch it, leave it alone. Okay. Alright, let's take a little bit of the black. I'm still using the smaller side here. There. Okay, good. Alright, I didn't mess that up. Okay. <laughs> Okie duck. So it looks like we've got the image stamps. I really, so the lamp I'm using, I feel like the lighting is good. It's just the way I have everything positioned. I don't like the lighting at all. So here you have it. So, of course, to finish it off, and I have to show you guys this part because it's the most satisfying part of a mani, I'm going to be top coating it. But here's a little trick that I learned on Instagram so that the top coat doesn't smudge it. First of all, a smudge-free top coat does help, but I do find that I do still smudge. So, you just take a little bit of this. You don't need a ton, but I like to um, do a nice thin layer. I like to paint on about the size of the image. Let's see. <laughs> I guess that's a bit bigger than the teacup, but that's okay. 
You can also do the size of the whole nail because then that does cover up everything, but um, sometimes just the size of the image is good enough. So let's have that dry. While that's drying, I'm just going to clean off of my stamping plate. Actually, while that's drying, I will show you guys what I was talking about earlier. Um, let me just get some polish remover without letting it spill. And there. Okay, so I, oh, I didn't even show you. Sorry. <laughs> I wiped off the um, stamping polish from that. But that's okay. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, so I want this heart. And I want to put it like kind of maybe up in the corner or something. Something cute like that. So, paint it on like you normally would. Work as quickly as you can. Where is my... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Work as quickly as you can. Oh, you can barely see that, but see? See in there? Okay. So... You know what? No, you know what? I'm gonna do that part again. I messed up. You guys didn't even see it. Okay. So. <laughs> Maybe I'll add that part in. I don't know. It was as a. Uh, it was a blooper, definitely. Okay. So. I'm gonna make sure you can see. Scrape. Pick up. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay. So, like I said, I want the little heart in the middle. And now I'm going to show you how I do that, um, just to get that image. So, you can use tape. But if it's like a smaller image like this, you want to be careful not to accidentally pick up the heart as well. So, I feel like something like this, nice and small. And kind of um get around easier so now we'll get that up too so nice okay and I'll worry about cleaning up all my brushes when I'm done but let's fill in this heart I want it to be black just like the one in the center my birds are eating right now they're so cute they're like me, they eat late at night. <laughs> okay. Oh, I want to make sure that's clean. If you can see, I don't know. Okay. Alright, let's get in there. And then gently, ever so gently, fill in the heart. Okay, so where should we put this heart? Sinking off to the corner maybe a little bit? Where would it look cute? Let me know. Wait, let's see. I think like... That's what I like about the clear stamping images is you can kind of... Uh, cute! I like that. Okay. Yeah. This one got screwed up. It's kind of sad. I don't even remember what happened to it. But man, it's one of my favorites. It's from the Hello Maniology website. It's one of my all-time favorites. But that's okay, because I still have my uber chic beauty one. Okay, so now we're going to take this top coat here and stamp it over our image. And as you can see, looks a little you wanna definitely smooth that out. 
Okie dokie. So you want to smooth that out. And yeah, this part's going to bug me, but the top cut will definitely smooth it over. And I used two over this. So that'll definitely help to smooth it over. Okay. So now that that's all sealed up, you can actually do a nice thick coat of your favorite top coat. I'm going to use these two. This one's my all time favorite for a nice gel shine and for it to last longer. That's what I have on these here. And I also used one of their gel couture um, polishes too. The pink one. I'm too hot to draw. Something like that. And first I'm going to use this one though. Gives it a nice thick layer to seal everything up. Oh, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes again, <laughs> she's trying to escape, she's so cute. Okay, so give that a minute and there's a few bubbles there. Sometimes you can get that with a quick dry top coat and, and fan, a fan going on in the background. <sighs> so, but then it's too hot to paint your nails so then they start to bubble so it's like, what do you do? You know, like, you need a fan. <laughs> so, let that dry a moment. Okay. While that's drying, so you're not bored to tears, I'm going to quickly just clean off my brushes here. It's a little bit satisfying, so you might enjoy seeing that. Okay. And you just do it until you no longer see color coming off of it. So that's good to go. And then I do the same with this beaded top one. Kind of swirl it around. There, we're getting there. Let's just do one more. Uh, there we are. So now I can put those away, and I feel like that has dried long enough. I sure hope. <laughs> and now we're just going to seal it up again with the really nice gel top coat. Um, you want a nice bead on there, so... need a little bit more than that. And there you have it. Oh, she's beautiful. She's so pretty. Okay. Let's see. The light shining on her. Can you see that better? The shine. Ah. Oh. The only annoying part is the bubbles, but <laughs> if you can put those aside and ignore that, <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm excited to get a macro shot of this to be able to put for my, uh, oh, what's it called? Thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, so here is a little stamping nail art. And usually what I'll do is when I get bubbles in my nail art, I will edit them out when I take the the picture because I mean unless they're unless they look cute and kind of go with the image I'm fine with it but you know if they're really prominent and they're not even meant to be there I just usually um, just edit them out so it looks cleaner but anyway here it is um, I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe I'll start doing like Every once in a while, here and there, I'll start doing, you know, little fun stamping videos on fake 
nails, but I definitely need to get a better setup. I need to get a better thing to hold my nails, so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun doing this. It's definitely my passion. I just love nail art, painting, relaxation. It's just, it's everything to me. So it's just a huge part of my life and I wanted to share that with you guys. I know I don't do <laughs> many um, nail videos on this channel, so I just thought it'd be kind of fun. And I don't know if you can see, but if you get a bit closer, you can see the little glitter pieces in there from the uh, OPI polish. Anyway, okay. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all have a wonderful day.